Hey guys, Dr. Ax here. Welcome to my couch. Today I'm going to be talking about water. I'm going to be talking about plastic bottles. I'm going to be talking about what sort of water you should be drinking every day and what you need to be drinking out of. And these are really, really important topics and you are getting high levels of toxicity potentially and you don't even realize it. And one of the number one sources of toxicity today are plastic bottles and these things you're drinking out of and eating out of on a daily basis. And not just you, your kids. I look at all the kids out there drinking out of plastic sippy cups and everything else. There's a lot of toxins in here and plastics will leak, leak a, a leach a couple things. One of those things is called BPA, it's bisphenol A, and it's been shown by the Environmental Working Group to be a severely toxic substance. Now for a while people were saying certain plastics don't leach as much and I'll talk about that in a minute, but let me talk about BPAs first. BPAs have been shown to be endocrine disruptors, which means they're gonna throw your hormones off. And if you're a female, it can cause you to go into early menopause, can cause infertility, uh, PCOS, it can cause just a hormone imbalance, painful menstrual cycle, endometriosis, it can cause all sorts of hormone problems. And for guys, it can raise your estrogen levels and decrease your testosterone levels, which guys, we don't want. So looking at this, um, it just simply, it's from bisphenol A. It disrupts, it disrupts all your hormones in your body and diseases it's been linked to. It's been linked to breast cancer in women and prostate cancer in men. Also, it's been linked to diabetes and heart disease. And all these toxins will build up in your body and your fat cells and your arteries. And it's also been linked to liver toxicity. Your liver has to deal with all the toxins in your body. And so again, bisphenol A, it's gonna really mess you up. Now, the other thing is if you're looking at children, it will actually cause girls to get more uh, male characteristics and boys to actually start having more fe feminine characteristics and just overall not good stuff you want to deal with. So I recommend you get rid of the plastic. Now for a while people said one, two, four, and five type of plastics are okay. Now if you look at the bottom of a bottle here, you can see like this is a number one plastic bottle. So they said they used to say, hey, for one use, this is okay because one, two, four, and five don't have very many BPAs or bisphenol A's. Now, what they're finding though, there are other things in plastics, compounds called phthalates, that are still just as toxic as BPAs and have been linked to a host of other health conditions. Now, when they did these studies, they actually found that 93% of the American population has some sort of BPAs in their bloodstream, and they said about 100% has some sort of phthalates in their bloodstream. And so for most of us, again, at least 93% of us, we are being exposed to these plastics, we're being exposed to these chemicals, it's throwing our hormones off, causing us to age faster, causing disease in our body. So overall, you wanna, stay, you wanna kick this stuff, you wanna get the plastics totally out of your diet. Now here's one other amazing fact. John Hopkins did a study, and John Hopkins said if you heat up plastic, that it leaches 15 to 55 times the amount of BPAs and phthalates. And so if you're heating up plastic, if you're eating out of containers, that are heated up or again heating up plastic or leaving your car even in a hot summer day, what's gonna happen is you're getting about 50 times the dose of toxicity as you would if you were just drinking out of regular plastic. So number one, get rid of the plastics. Number two, whatever you do, do not drink out of, do not eat out of hot plastic containers. So again, get rid of the plastic. Here's what you do instead. Switch over to glass, okay? So glass is a uh, good non-toxic thing to be drinking out of. So again, when I'm around my house, I use glass as much as possible. There's a lot of companies now who will take glass and they'll put rubberized things around it so it can fall and it won't break. So that's a good choice for kids, for sippy cups, things like that. What my favorite thing to drink out of though at this point are doing clean canteens, basically doing uh, any, any sort of stainless steel. Now you can see the outside is painted, but the inside here, it is, it's just uh, totally clean, it's just plain stainless steel. And so I drink out of clean canteens, uh, you know, pretty much on a daily basis, I drink out of glass, but this is a great option. You can probably go to cleancanteen.com, again, with a K, clean canteen. And I know you can pick these up at REI and Whole Foods, and there, there's other brands as well, but doing stainless steel, that is a great non-toxic option for, for drinking out of. Now let me talk about, so we talked about what not to drink out of, we talked what to drink of, but let me talk a little bit more about water. Now water today, just typical tap water, is highly toxic. It's got fluoride, they've actually even found uh, the remains of birth control pills and cholesterol medications and things like that in your everyday tap water. And so you do not want to be drinking tap water uh, if possible. What you want to be drinking is filtered water 
or spring water. So specifically, I have a reverse osmosis water filter in my house. So I do a lot of reverse osmosis filter. It's a good high quality filter that'll remove like 99.9% .9 of all toxins. So again, I recommend you getting a reverse osmosis water filter in your house, whether it's for the sink or a whole house filter. I personally have an aqua sauna filter and it works great. Now another option is you can get water ionizers, which work, work all right as well. Um, and, and also, if you're going to just go out and buy some water, you know, do spring water. Spring water is probably a better option, okay, if you are going to do regular water. Distilled water doesn't have quite all the vitamins and minerals that you're going to have that, that, that are going to be left in, in the spring water. And one question I get pretty often is, hey, what about things like Kangen water and these highly, highly alkalized waters, waters that are at the pH of like a 10? You know, I don't necessarily think that's natural. Now, remember, you... Most Americans are typically a little bit more on the acidic end. At the same time, you can over-alkalize your body. Now, most of you guys don't need to worry about that, but hey, you're going to be getting plenty, your body's going to be getting plenty of alkaline if you're following the healing diet, if you're getting plenty of vegetables and fruits and these raw foods. If you're getting a lot of raw foods and vegetables, hey, your body's going to be plenty alkaline. And so you typically don't need to be worried about doing a highly alkaline water. Now, in general, if you're looking at Fiji water and things like that, hey, that's going to be a pH about 7.4. Your body's pH should be at 7.36. So if your body's pH, if the water is in between, you know, 7 and 7.8, or let's say 7 and 8, hey, you're fine. But doing a pH water of around 10, I think that's over alkalizing your body. I've had someone say to me, well, I think everyone should be really alkaline. Well, you know what? You could go and alkalize your body right now by drinking about a gallon of bleach, but it's not good for you. Again, remember, there's a balance here. You want to be a pH of 7.36, and you can actually test those with pH strips, and actually your saliva pH should be in between 6.8 and 7.2. If you do want to test your saliva pH, it's a good way to go ahead and test things. You can get those little strips. So just remember these action steps. Number one, get rid of all plastic. Number two, bring in, start using glass and stainless steel. And number three, hey, start drinking good quality water. Um, reverse osmosis, spring water, getting a water ionizer, and making sure the pH is in between seven and eight is probably a pretty good way to go. And also, hey, I'm wearing this shirt today. This is uh, for actually a, a group called Blood Water Mission. Another great uh, thing to do is help get clean water to other countries. So think about that. You can visit bloodwatermission.com for that, and you can visit drax.com for more information on getting good, clean things in your body. Thanks for watching.